Hi everybody and thank you for joining me in this episode of our Pilates basic exercise series. My name is Gudrun Kohler, I'm a Pilates and yoga teacher. Happy to have you here with me. So today's exercise is swimming. We will lie down on our bellies on the mat and move our arms and legs in a slight spinal extension. With this exercise, you can really, really strengthen the whole back of your body, from toes up to your head. Second, it's a really nice workout for your shoulders and it mobilizes both your shoulders and your hips. So, let's get started. Lie down on your mat. Place one hand upon the other right in front of you. Find your placement. Long legs. Toes are firmly pressed into the mat. Neutral pelvis with a minimal pelvic tilt. Pubic bone goes towards your nose. We want to protect our lower back area. So you feel the whole hip and the pubic bone especially in your mat. Active core. Bellies pulled in and up. So there's a little bit, tiny little bit of space ideally between your navel and the ground. Shoulders pulling away from the ears, shoulder blades gliding down your ribcage, elbows wide. You feel your whole lower arms and elbows firmly pressed into the mat. Extend your thoracic spine just a little bit. Send out your breastbone. Have a neutral gaze, pretty much neutral neck and the gaze goes diagonally to the ground in front of you. First, we work out on our legs. Imagine that you lengthen on the inhale and on the exhale, pubic bone goes into the mat even stronger. Really, really, really active core, shoulder blades gliding down. Next again, inhale, lengthen. And on the exhale, feel the toes of your right foot growing out, reaching out until the whole leg lifts a little bit fully extended. Hold it there for a second and bring it down to the ground. Inhale, lengthen, same on the left side. On the exhale, left toes are growing out, reaching out until the left leg lifts up. Active core, don't fall into a hollow back, bring back the leg. Two more times on each side. On the inhale, lengthen, exhale, shoulder blades gliding down and away, toes reaching out, lift your leg and come down. On the left, feel your pubic bone in the ground. Exhale and send out your left toes, your left leg. Bring it down again. Once again on the right hand side, with your breastbone still reaching out. Up we go. And down. And on the left. Up we go. And down. Next, we lift both legs just a little bit and then move them up and down in a gentle guided movement. So no heavy movements, we don't want to roll to the right or to the left. Most important is your trunk stays really, really stable in this exercise. We're only moving the legs in the hip joints. Lift your upper body, elbows reaching out, elbows pulling back, send your breastbone out, neutral cervical area. Active core, pubic bone, well pressed into the mat. Inhale, lengthen. On the exhale, reach out with both feet and lift your legs just a little bit. Maintain the position, activate your core even more and start moving the legs gently up and down without any movement in the trunk. It's purely your glutes working and the muscles of your leg and of course of your trunk. We do five more, four, three, two, one, and down we go. So well, let's now move on to our arms and shoulders. You maintain a little bit of a spinal extension in the breast area, reach out, put your arms into a V position. With this exercise now, the legs stay firmly pressed into the mat. You feel all 10 toes in your mat, the legs are extended and really active. We want to work on the upper back area. 
Shoulders sliding away from the ears. Send the armpits down to your hips. Activate your pelvic floor muscles and core. Bring the pubic bone maybe a little stronger into your mat. Inhale, lengthen on the exhale. Imagine the muscular connection between your right shoulder and your left hip. Feel the fingers of your right hand growing out until your arm lifts. And put it down again. Same on the left. Left shoulder and right hip pulling together. Fingers reaching out on the left. And arm. And down. Same on the right again. Reach out. And come down. Same on the left. Activate your core, then reach out and come down. One last time on the right. Reach out and come down. Press your toes into the ground and come down. And next exercise for the shoulders is like we did it with the legs. We lift both arms just a little bit and make these up and down movements. So bring your spine into a position where you say, okay, I can hold this. Bring your pubic bone into the mat. Imagine you have a tiny little rounding even in your lumbar spine. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, bring your shoulder blades down. Find this muscular diagonal connection between shoulders and hips. Lift both arms up just a little bit. Now, right arm goes a little up and left. And we continue this movement. Your hips stay in the mat. Legs are fully extended. You're working on your upper back area. Three more to go. Two more. One last. And come down. Place one hand upon the other. You may rest your head now on your hands. Bend your knees and move a little bit to the left, to the right. Relax your lower back. We are prepared now for swimming. Extend your legs again on the mat, arms in a V position. You can also, if you want, bring your legs into a slight V position if this feels better for your hip, just don't put it too wide. On the inhale, lengthen, on the exhale, first bring your spine into a slight extension. It's easier for your shoulders to move if you don't have to do it from the ground. You must be able to maintain this extension. On the next inhale again, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. On the exhale, activate your core, activate your pelvic floor muscles, pubic bone well in the mat, and inhale again. Now we start to lift both the arms and legs on the exhale. This is your starting position. Now we move a little bit higher, the right arm and the left leg, and change them. Slowly first. Try to maintain the stability in your trunk. So don't shake to the left and to the right. Don't exaggerate the movement. It's just a tiny little movement. We do three more on each side. And two. Reach out with your best bone. Long legs. Last one. And down we go. And for the very last exercise, we add a little bit of a breathing technique to this, like you already know it from the hundreds. We will inhale on five and exhale on five and do this exercise just a little bit faster. So, the position of your arms, maybe also of your legs. Active core, active pelvic floor muscles. Again, long, long hip, pubic bone and hips in the mat. This is really important to protect your lower back. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Lift your arms, lift your legs, and we start. Right arm goes up, left leg goes up, and inhale, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, in, reach out with your legs, in, two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, on the ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, that's it, come down again. Bring your hands right between your hips, press back into a child's position to release, to relax your lower back area. You can bring your forehead down on the ground, you can also bring your arms back. Just relax now. One deep exhale, one last deep inhale, and then roll up into a nice seated position again. So, 
that was it for today. Hope you liked the video. If you did so, give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And I say thank you very much. Hope to see you again tomorrow when we will work on our oblique muscles with a side-to-side -side 